In this SkyCat tutorial, you're going to learn how to use some of the cable management features that come with the purchase of the advanced license. If you've watched the tutorial on multi-core cables, this way of representing multi-core cables will look familiar to you. With the advanced license, there is another way to show multi-core cables, by using cable indicators. To insert a cable indicator, go to the multi-core cable library folder and select Cable Indicator. Click once to define the starting point and click again to define the ending point. Once inserted, it can be stretched and moved around. To generate the wires for a cable, select the cable and choose Update Cabling. And the wires are generated based on a default list of wire colors. If you wish to change the default list of wire colors, select SkyCAD in the tree view, go to the Show tab, select Environments, click on Standard Environment, and select List of Values. Here you will see wire colors. Expand the properties, and here you can change the default list of wire colors. You can change the colors to numbers too if you want. Let me go back to showing projects in the tree view. Instead of generating wires one cable at a time like this, you can generate all the wires for all the cables in the entire project simultaneously. Just select the project in the tree view, go to the Home tab and select Update Cabling. This will generate wires for all the cables in the project. As you can see, this cable, which didn't have wire colors before, does now. Cables can also be linked together. I'll insert another cable indicator to demonstrate. As with other components in SkyCAD, we can use Link With. Notice the cable number and colors are updated. Wires can be swapped around. Let's say I want to swap the red and green wires. Select them and select Swap Wires. Another way to swap wires is to select only one wire, click Swap Wires, and choose the wire that you want to swap it with. To revert a cable back to the default wiring colors and sequence, select the cable, go to the Renumbering Process tab, and select Renumber Cable Wires. If a cable has been given wire colors and you'd like to change it to wire numbers instead, double click on the cable, and under Wire Numbering Type, select Numbers. Click OK and renumber cable wires. Now the wires don't have colors but numbers instead. This works the other way around too, if you're given wire numbers but want colors. Shield connections can also be added to cables. Let's add a shield to this cable, for example. In the multi core cable library folder, take a shield connection and insert it at either the top. Or bottom of the cable. Let's add an earth Now since we've added to the cable be sure to select update cabling from the home tab. We can access a cable's wiring list by selecting the cable and selecting open cables wireless view. Another way to get to a cable's wiring list is to select the project in the tree view, go to the Show tab, and select Cables. Then select the cable for which you want to see the wiring list, and select Show Wires. Back to the wiring list. Keep in mind that if you want the Source and Destination columns to display the correct information, be sure that your components are located to let SkyCAD know what's in the panel and what's in the field. If you'd like to swap the information in the source and destination columns, you can do this 
by selecting the cable, going to the Home tab, and selecting Flip Cabling. We can swap wires from here too. Change the color or number of a cable wire. And navigate to specific wires. We can also navigate to cables in the schematics from the tree view. As with all other components in SkyCAD, cables can be assigned part numbers and saved to the catalog. Of course, we can save new part numbers to the catalog too. To do this, first, explore the cable. Next, fill in the details for the particular part number you want to add. Then add the number of wires this part number has. To do that, select the cable, click on the Show tab, and select Wires. These are the wires which are being used in the project, so they have been automatically added. If your part number has more wires than this, you should add the rest by going to the Create Add tab and selecting New Wire. Choose if you want to add a shield or wire. You can add multiple wires by holding the control key when selecting new wires. I'll choose wire again and enter the number of items you wish to create. Finally, add a shield if your part number has a shield. Then go to the Home tab and save. Save to catalog. Okay. At the end of your project, it's always a good idea to select the project in the tree view and select Update Cabling one more time. This will ensure that all your cables have wires generated for them, in case you forgot any of them 